at youngsters all day, it's nice to come home, see a mature face. Oh, well, I like that. Well, what I mean is... Never I... mind. I know what you mean. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I have to make a quick trip to San Francisco. San Francisco? Yeah, it's about the Forbes Foundation grant. Dr. San Grayson Francisco. is flying in from Houston to meet me there. And but see, I'll need my evening gown. Oh, dear, I'm going along. She's in a bag. Oh, a wool suit. Uh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You were saying something? Yes, yes. I said I'm going to make a quick trip to San Francisco alone for one day. San Francisco? Hey, when do we leave? Uh, we are not leaving at all. I am leaving the day after tomorrow. But, Dad, I just finished all my exams. I got nothing to do for a whole week. Now, Jeff, my business up there will only take me one day. Well, good. Then we can spend the rest of the week sightseeing. <laughs> home that week. Maybe we can go out to some of the games and say hello to Willie Mays, huh? San Francisco's way out in California. Sure is, and we're going to spend a whole week out there with Dad. Oh, I can't go. I've got to be at school. I'm going to be a ma nature pageant. <laughs> well, Trish can always stay with Midge. Dad, is that your final word? Final and irrevocable. Excuse me? He said final and irrevocable. What does that mean? That means we have a fighting chance. <laughs> Oh, great. I'm so hungry, I could eat a... Cable car? Cable car? What's a cable car? Oh, those cute little trolleys that run up and down the hills in San Francisco. Oh, no, thanks. They always give me indigestion. <laughs> What's all this? Uh, just setting the atmosphere for the trip to you-know-where. Well, I'm not going to have time for atmosphere when I make my trip. Hi, Dad. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Spared no expense, huh? Did I do? Say the secret word? Trish? Well, I see we have a bridge builder in the family. That is the... Don't tell me. The Golden Gate Bridge. That's right, Daddy. This is a toll bridge, Mommy. Thank you. Thank you. The man just delivered this telegram for you, Daddy. Please? Please? Thank you. Oh. oh. Reservation confirmed. Family suite for Dr. and Mrs. Stone and Jeff Stone. Westgate Hotel? Jeff, did you? Not me. Why don't you ask me? I made the reservations this morning. And you let us go through all of that? Yes, I wanted to make a clinical observation of your brainwashing techniques. Oh, well, I gotta call Scotty. He knows a groovy chick in San Francisco. Uh, Trish, go tell Aunt Mitch she's in charge of you. Oh, well, honey, I haven't got much time. Better pack. Oh, to watch batting practice. Where's Willie? He's right over there by the batter's cage. Jeff, Donna. Hi, Willie. Really? Oh, fine. It's nice to see you. Oh, well, you folks are in town. 
Well, Alex came for a conference, the Forbes Foundation, and uh, we came along for a vacation. Gee, I sure like to see him. How come he haven't been out to the game? He's all tied up in meetings. Ah, uh, too bad. How's college, Joe? How are you doing those books? Well, I'm hitting about 500. 500? Man, that's good enough to lead in the league. Not college. 650 is passing. Uh, uh, he snap out of dumb. You know, anyone can get in a slump. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Hey, you really had a great year last year, Willie. 112 RBIs. Oh, could have had 122 DDDP. DDDP? Oh, if Don Drysdale didn't pitch. <laughs> 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 Gotta run now. Anytime you want to come to the game, just let me know. I'll leave word and, and tell the doc, too. Oh, thank you, Willie. We appreciate it. Hey, Willie, hit one in the left field stands for me, huh? Which role? <laughs> Dr. Grayson, may I remind you again that you are not down home and that our problem has nothing to do with Texas? Dr. Stone, everything has something to do with Texas. This is getting us nowhere. Why do you have to be so stubborn? Well, why do you keep insisting that a major portion of the grant be, be given to geriatric research rather than pediatric? Because geriatrics is very important, especially in Texas. Folks there live longer. It only seems longer. <laughs> all right, all right. It's getting late. So why don't we sleep on this and get together tomorrow morning? On another day of this? Look, I made plans. I brought my wife here. What do you think I brought from Houston? A white-faced Hereford? <laughs> Don, honey, it was so nice of you to traipse around with me to that little old auction. Uh, well, don't mention it, Mrs. Grayson. Oh, Don, honey, you, you just gotta stop this Mrs. Grayson talk. <laughs> to you, I'm just plain old Sally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sally. Uh, Sally, don't you think $140 is a little too much money for that? Oh, shucks, honey. We had to outbid that Easterner from Chicago. <laughs> Why? Uh, because when Sally Grayson makes up her little old mind, nothing is going to stop her. And I made up my little old mind that you just had to buy that little old statue. Uh, Mrs. Grace, uh, Sally, <laughs> uh, are you sure you don't want this? It, it would look much better in a ranch house. Oh, Donna, honey, I wouldn't dream of depriving you of the pleasure of owning this magnificent work of art. Oh, if your husband is anything like my lion now, he's just gonna love it. <laughs> oh, I wish they'd finish their meeting so they could go shopping with us the next time. Sally, uh, our husbands aren't doing very well together. I was wondering, do you have any influence on Dr. Grayson? Oh, honey, I got oodles of influence. I pick out his ties, I tell him what to eat, and I arrange all of our social engagements. <laughs> well, then maybe... But when it comes to his business affairs, Sally Grayson keeps her little old mouth shut. Oh. Ah, beat you four straight in 54. <laughs> Donna! Willie, what a nice surprise. Will you join us? Oh, no, thank you, Donna. I just stopped by to see a friend of mine. He owns this place. Oh. It used to be an empire, you know. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's that fellow over there. Where? The fellow with the thick glasses on, Donna. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Say, how come I haven't seen a doc out at the ballpark? Oh, he's still tied up with those meetings with Dr. Grayson. Oh, that Dr. Grayson must be one of those stubborn old goats. Uh, really? Uh, <laughs> this is Mrs. Grayson. Oops. I put it that one. Sorry, ma'am. That's quite all right. Sometimes he is goaty. Willie Mace? Are you really Willie Mace? Yes, ma'am. Oh, the doctor and I are two of your most ardent fans. You like baseball? Oh, back home in Houston, we just never miss a game. We have two boxes at the Astrodome. Don't you just love playing there? Well, it's a great ballpark, ma'am, but I, I kind of like uh, Candlestick Park better. Oh, my. Candlestick is cute. It, it's small, but it's cute. In Texas, we have bigger lawns for garden parties. <laughs> Tell me, doesn't it bother you now playing on an outdoor field? How do you keep the sun out of your eyes? Ma'am, in San Francisco, the sun is one thing we don't have to worry about. Oh! <laughs> Are you a giant fan? Well, I was. But last season, I followed the Dodgers. Uh, so did we. <laughs> oh! 
wait till I tell the doctor that I'm that little old say hey. But say, they'll give me a night at the ballpark tonight, and I'd like for you to come and bring Mrs. Grayson with you. Oh, Willie, I'd love that, but I don't know what plans my husband has made. Oh, me either. Well, if you can, make it, you just call the box office and mention my name, and I already left word there. Thank you, Willie. That's very nice of you. As I was saying, a man who, uh, <laughs> saved by the bell. Hello. It's for you. Dr. Grayson here. Oh, tarnation. Well, thanks anyway. What kind of a town is this? Man can't even buy a ticket for a game. What game? It's Willie Mays night tonight at Candlestick Park, and they all sold out. I didn't know you were interested in baseball. That is one more thing you don't know. I would rather see a baseball game than to eat. I used to pitch in college pretty darn good, too. Yeah? Well, look, if you uh, really want to go to Candlestick Park tonight, maybe I can arrange something. You? Hello, uh, would you get me Candlestick Park, please? Uh, the uh, box office. Yeah, it just happens that uh, Willie Mays is a friend of mine. Why don't we go together as his guest, huh? I don't believe it. You're probably one of those name droppers. <laughs> Hello, uh, box office? Uh, my name is Stone. I'm a friend of Willie Mays. Stone? Oh, yes. Willie told me to take care of you. Two for tonight? You got it. Field box? Oh, that'll be fine. Uh, pick him up the will call window. Right, thank you. Well, I'll be darned. You did it. <laughs> Nothing to it, Doctor. It's all in whom you know. <laughs> Say, why don't we uh, have dinner together tonight before the game? Hey, that's a good idea, Stone. You be my guest. Oh, no, no, no. I ins no, I insist. You're getting the tickets. The least I can do. All right. And uh, maybe over some good steaks, and uh, between the innings, we can discuss our little differences. I don't see the reason why not, Alex, old boy. <laughs> I'm looking forward to a very pleasant evening, Lionel. Don't honey, I just hate barging in like this, but I just found a message from Lionel saying he's going to be tied up this evening. I reckon he's going to be tied up with your husband. You reckon right. I have the same message from my husband. Well, Donna, honey, don't you fret none. You and I are going to have a right interesting evening. We are? Mm-hmm. We certainly are. They're having an auction tonight over on Sutter Street. Real, genuine Western antiques. Uh, maybe, maybe you can find a mate for that gorgeous statue you bought today, and then you'll have a match set. Oh, well, now, Sally, I really, uh, you see, I wasn't, uh, I thought maybe, uh, Willie Mays. Oh, would he like to go to the auction, too? Oh, no, no. He invited us to the game tonight, remember? Why don't you and I go? Without a husband? Well, they're at work. They don't mind. And Jeff has a date he's taken care of. Come on, let's go. Donna, honey, that's a marvelous idea. Good. <sighs> Get me Candlestick Park, please. Box office. Stone? Friend of Willie Mays? Oh, that's already been taken care of. Two field box seats. At the wheel call window. Thank you. Hey, what do you say we go to a ball game tonight, Vicky? It's Willie Mays night. Sounds like fun, but won't be kind of expensive. Yeah, only cost one dime. <laughs> Box office. Stone? Willie Mays? That's all been taken care of. Two field box tickets. Three telephone calls, one pair of tickets. This is ridiculous. It's all set. I knew my buddy Willie Mays would take care of me. Hey, what do you say we go out to the ballpark early and uh, grab a couple of hot dogs and watch batting practice? Maybe then we can say hello to Willie Mays. Gee, Jeff, for a stranger in town, you sure know your way around. Well, it's all in who you know. <laughs> Tickets for Stone, please. Here, yeah, right next to the dugout. Thank you. I'll take over, Joe. Look like a big one tonight. Sell out. Good. See so you have to have a bite, huh? Yeah. Tickets for Stone, please. Stone. S. Yes. Stone in the sky. 
Miles Smith. Sorry, lady, no stone. But it has to be. I phoned and they said they'd positively be here. I can't give you anything I haven't got. Oh, but Please, I... Please, lady, you're holding up the line. I... <laughs> Next. Well, I, I don't understand it. Well, mistakes happen, honey. N now, don't you fret about it. Well, besides, I would have felt guilty being at the game while my poor husband had to work. Uh, look, why don't we just go to the auction? Uh, Sally, please, I'd rather not. Uh, I know. We'll go back to the hotel and watch the game in the room. Television. Uh, that's a right smart idea, and you're a right smart gal. Are you sure you are from Texas? Oh, I'm not sure of anything right now. Come on. This is overdoing it a little bit, isn't it? Well, what we say back in Houston, if you're gonna be a fan, be a fan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. Oh, we won't need these. We'll be closer to the action than the manager. Oh, I don't want you to miss any of the five points of the game. Okay. Uh, excuse me, please. Uh, tickets for Stone, please. For Stone. Stone, Stone. Sorry, buddy, no stones. That can't be. But it is. I can read, can I? But they were being left for me. But they ain't. Sorry, buddy. You Next. Name your friend of Willie Mays, like you told me. I just don't understand it. Nothing to it, Doc. It's all on who you know. But Willie told Jeff that the tickets would be at the box office in my name. My fellas need a pair of tickets. Have some. Just so happens to have a last pair. Oh, are you a lifesaver? That'll be $7.50 a piece. $7.50? Well, they're only three fifty at the box office. So go buy them at the box office. But they haven't got any left at the box office. Well, when I haven't got any left, I sell them for $2. <laughs> two rows in the bleachers. Well, at least we'll see the game. I think we rented these binoculars. We didn't rent those binoculars. I did. <laughs> seen anything since the umpire said play ball. What inning is this? It's the bottom of the fifth. There's still nothing to nothing. Oh. Well, what a game. Nothing to nothing. Bottom of the ninth. Willie Mays coming up. For your half of the dinner, Jim. I thought you were the host. And I thought you knew Willie Mays. <laughs> Dr. Grayson, are you sure you don't want a cup of coffee? Thank you, ma'am. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, give him the ball. I don't want him. Alex, go over there and give him the ball. Alex. Sore loser. <laughs> Let us take our leave. Tomorrow's gonna be a long, disagreeable day. <laughs> Figure it out. What could have happened to those tickets? Hi! Hey, what a great game you guys missed. And you should have seen the seats that Willie left for us. Tremendous. I think that answers your question. You use those tickets? Sure. Well, I'll see you later. I got a late date. Oh, uh, Dad, uh, I met a friend of yours in the elevator. He's kind of aggravated that you haven't come out to see him. And here he is. Hi, Donna. Hi, Alex. Hope I'm not bothering you folks. Hi, Hi Willie. Come on in. Wow. 
Good to see you. What a game that was. And how are you, Mrs. Grayson? Just super. Oh, Mr. Mays, may I present my husband, Dr. Lionel Grayson. Willie uh, Mays, I, I am glad to meet you. Uh, would, would you mind autographing this ball? It's the one you hit for the final home run tonight. But that's the one I hit way up into the bleachers. What were you doing there? That's a long story, Willie, which I'd rather not repeat. Nor I. It's not like you fellas not get along at all. We are not. Uh, Lionel, you're, you're just going to be the envy of all Houston with that autograph ball. Wait till I show it to all the fellas back at the country club, huh? Doc, you better hold to this until you fellas sell your little beef, and then you can give it to him. <laughs> just a darn man. You heard the man, and you can have this ball, providing we arrive at a fair compromise. Now, but it is my ball, and I'm... Well, maybe we could uh, discuss it in the morning. At breakfast. You got a date. <laughs> Maybe we can all go to the ball game together. And I'll leave the tickets at the box office. Uh, maybe you better leave them at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Willie. You know, Lionel, now that I think it over, I've been pretty unreasonable. I, I can be kind of mulish at times. Not like me. Sometimes I'm as stubborn as an old goat. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You don't have to. I did. <laughs> no, no, look, I should have given in three days ago. No, you, you should, should not. I, if you no, have look, to... Lionel, you're listening to me. I'm not going to give in like you. Call it! Call it! Call it! Hold it, will you? I'm Empire in this rhubarb, and Empire has the last word. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, when you signed with the Giants, the Supreme Court lost a great 300 hitter. <laughs> Four days ago, if you had suggested we split that foundation grant 50-50, I'd have gone along with you pronto. Now he tells me. This ball is just a beat up practice ball. Now here's two balls I think you'll like. Fourteen. The Supreme Court is now a joint. <laughs> the Donna Reed.